The Cultural Heritage of the Kurpia Region of Poland, Part 2. The Adam Hentnik Scientific Association in Ostrołęka has been in existence for 17 years and has over 150 members. They include amateur researchers, plus academics, connoisseurs, and outstanding experts from various branches of science who've decided to work with us. They've come to Ostrołęka from Warsaw and Białystok to support and assist in our work. Zechcieli przyjechać do Ostrołęki, wspierać nas, wskazywać tam pewne zagadnienia i pewne dziedziny badawcze. Czym się zajmujemy? What do we do? Mostly research, of course, on a regional scale, in the areas of history, ethnography, economics, and some in the areas of law and administration. However, our strongest field of research is history. We support research in other areas as well, but, as I said, mostly in the field of history. Another of our goals is the collection of all sorts of materials and artifacts. We'd like to save everything existing, not in the great collections, but hidden somewhere in attics, in local government offices, in schools and parishes. Another aim is to designate and promote the culture of the Kurpia region. We are here in the Kurpia region, one of the more interesting cultural sub-regions in Poland. There are two such sub-regions in the Mazowsze area, the Łowicz region and our Kurpia region. We'd like to present this culture, save it, preserve it on tape and on paper. A group of historians has taken on the subject of emigration from the Kurpia region. We'd like to reach as many emigrants as possible, those who were driven out or chose to leave, and create a map of former residents of the Kurpia region, to show all the places in the world where they now live, France, Germany, the United States, Argentina, Israel, and other locations. Secondly, we'd like to establish contact with these people somehow. They come from this area. We'd like to know what they do, their jobs, and what they can tell us about their early days of emigration how they were organized, and what is their present level of regional and national awareness and identity. We have a large group of people who work with us. Here in Lelish, our section is small, but led by Mr. Henrik Kulesza, the marvelous creator of this ethnographic center. But we have many such sites with which we work on cultivating the culture of the Kurpia region. Oh, how the times have changed! Why, it's the end of the world! I used to say only one part of the rosary, now I have to say all four! We make such beautiful palms at Easter, here in the Kurpia region. We gather in the houses, the older women too, and make smaller and larger palms. Each year we make new ones. And when we get together, and there are several of us women, we always sing together. We don't sit quietly, we always sing. Kto jej nie sadził i nie podlewał, niech jej nie ścina. Kto jej nie sadził i nie podlewał, niech jej nie ścina. Byłem u ciebie tylko dwa razy. Nie będzie śmiała, miała, nie będzie z do mnie urazy. Nie będzie śmiała, miała, nie będzie z do mnie urazy.
I'm making a flower which is called an ost. These are the shears used to make korpia cutouts. But in the olden days they were used to shear sheep. They are very good for making cutouts because they are very thin and only these shears give you such effects. We make all sorts of shapes. I learned all this from my grandmother. My entire family made cutouts. Oh, except for the men, who didn't try. When I see you doing it, I want to learn how to make cutouts as well as you do. I'm pleased that young girls are interested in the craft and that the tradition will never die out. An example are today's workshops. Here's a girl who made this cutout herself. I think it's pretty for her first attempt and that she'll continue to learn. I also intend to learn. There are beautiful patterns here. Modern clothes and tradition can be linked. These days such lace blouses are very fashionable. As I sit here admiring them, I wonder when I'll achieve such artistry, but I hope that if I come here often, I'll surely learn how. I learned from my mother, who was so good, she embroidered and knitted. I used to watch her all the time. I got in her way at first, but that's how I ended up learning how to do it myself. These are all the things I've made, except for this, which was done by my daughter. How is it done? Simple. It's only a chain, a bar, and joining the two. Here looser, here tighter. That's how you make these patterns. This is a bit contemporary, but in the Kurpia region, embroidery has always been based on checkered flowers, animals and birds. I begin by wrapping some straw with wicker, and I continue wrapping by taking the end of the wicker, which is quite soft, fitted with a metal end, and I start to sew. Sewing is done slowly. And we talk to our neighbor, if he's here. For in the past, neighbors used to visit each other on winter evenings, as this was done only in the winter. In summer, there was no time. We make all sorts of baskets, small ones for eggs, flat ones for serving bread, large ones strong enough to hold a child. It was life here in the Kurpia region that led us to make these baskets. I learned how to do it from my father. He never said from whom he learned it. I'm sure life taught him. The only reason I do it now is to keep the tradition alive. Whatever my eye can see, my hands can make. On February 26, 1986, we became linked by science. That was the day we began our publishing efforts. We're helped by 27 professors from universities in various cities, Szczecin, Gdańsk, Białystok, Warsaw, Wrocław and Kraków. 36 local doctors are members of our association. Over 164 people with master's degrees devote their passion and work in our association. The past gives rise to the future, according to Adam Hentnik. And so we look at the past by publishing historical books about the Kurpia region.
identity and distinctiveness. Or this one, written by our president, Janusz Gołota, Ostrołęka, the city and district during the interwar years. The roads to the past which help us build the future. A future that we describe as building small homelands in a united and integrated Europe. This was published a month ago for young people. Why the European Union? These are things which provide guidelines on how to live, how to prepare for new economic growth. We know that unemployment is a problem. Among other things, we have also begun the economic transformation of our region. We've shown how the problem of unemployment here, in the beautiful forest areas, can be solved by becoming involved in agro-tourism. Finally, among others, Dr. Psarski made his way here as a pioneer. On the 35th anniversary of our hospital, we dedicated the following to him. Yesterday, today and tomorrow, protecting the health in the Kurpia region. And now the history books by Adam Białczak, recalling the Kościuszko uprising in the Kurpia region and the 1920 war as well. The fate of the teachers are also linked to this land. Dr. Matsko wrote of the fate of teachers from this region. It can be said that the 85 volumes which the Ostrowenka Association has published, together with 17 research papers, makes over 100 publications in 18 years. This makes us one of the most active associations in Poland when it comes to publishing. I'd like to add that our works have earned the applause of the scientific community in Poland. Our book, The History of the Ostrowenka Jews, was very highly rated in Warsaw. Among other accolades, it received the Adam Geistor Award, as did the book by our president, Jędrzej Moraczewski, the first premier of the Second Republic. Adam Hentnik, our patron, and to whom we've dedicated a popular science session, is the name we proudly gave to our association in Ostrowenka. Last year, the vocational school complex was also named after him. The Kurpia Historical Museum in Novogrod and school in Jednorożec are examples of the desire to keep the history of the region alive. In speaking with Adam Hentnik's grandson, Jacek Hentnik, who lives in Warsaw, and who has served Polish culture well, I learned that there are manuscripts by Adam Hentnik, our patron, that have not yet seen the light of day. The anniversary of the Warsaw Uprising draws near, and there is a manuscript which no one has seen. We would like to be one of those who publish something on a subject that Polish public opinion and we here in the Kurpia region know very little about. I said that we are united by a passion for action, a passion for research. We are not isolated as the Ostrowenka Scientific Association. Three and a half thousand students study in Ostrowenka at the Podlaska Academy, at the College of Public Administration and at Łódź University, as well as the newly opened College of Economics and Social Studies. It is, of course, easier for several scientists from great academic centers to come to Ostrowenka and give a lecture to 150 students in a given year than for that group to go elsewhere. As we've said, Ostrowenka is a poor region with high unemployment, and so our activities are aimed in that direction. We are constantly striving to set up our own real local university with a full-time day curriculum. The current teacher colleges, which teach languages and computer science, do not give us that opportunity. Adam Hentnik, among others, very much wanted the people of the Kurpia region to be brave, healthy, well-educated and tied to this land.